Okay, so what I got rid of was all the extra stuff that we don't need. Some of it we just bring it in as and when we need it, and some of it we don't need at all. Okay, so what I got rid of was the media column on the right, and I got rid of the inspector column on the left, and I got rid of the main menu bar along the top here. And once you got rid of those three items, which do not need to be there when you're working, all you're left with is this basic raw arrange page. Okay, so the protocol of logic is very simple. You get a track, you record on it, and then, or you pencil in MIDI little blocks and, and then whatever, when you go to edit, okay, so look, I will get the pencil tool, let's say you have drawn in an empty MIDI region like that, or, or I've recorded some MIDI data on this track, I then select the arrow to point tool, I then just select that region that I want to edit, and I open my piano roll, and underneath I edit my piano notes or whatever, you know, the synth part or whatever that I've done. And then when I've done my little edit, I close it. Simple as that. If I want to tweak my mix, I open my mixer and do a little tweak. Close that. If this was a little audio thing, I wanted to trim the audio, I open, I highlight it again like that and open the sample editor and do my trimming and whatever. And um, also I can use the hyper editor, which is a different type of editor, and also where you do your drums, we'll come to that. And again, I'm editing the contents of this little region or part up here. So that's how it works. You just stick in this one single very simple interface here, build, recording and building up your song arrangement in this arrange grid. And this arrange page has just one menu bar across it. That's all it requires. You know, you've got your main logic menu up here, like every program has, but all you've got now is just one menu bar that lives across the arrange page there. And every single command to do anything as well as all the tools and all the options to do anything in this working arrange area are living on this silver menu bar along the top of the arrange area and this silver menu bar is called the local menu bar and all the edit windows have got their own local menu bar as well and if you look they're completely different so each editor has its own completely unique local menu bar that pops up with the edit window and disappears when you close the edit window. So the beauty of that is the menu is not visible unless you've got the edit window open and when you close that edit window its local menu bar also disappears so it's no longer cluttering and confusing the interface. Okay, So that's the tr secret, so to speak, the trick of how it works. Every single edit window has its own dedicated local menu bar living above it and that contains every single function and parameter that you need to edit in that particular window. The other thing is every single local menu bar has got a pair of toolbox selectors okay? and you can assign a default pair of tools for the left and command click for each editor and each editor will remember those tools. So for example in this um, hyper editor if I choose the pencil tool and the eraser tool for my left and command click it's different to the local menu bar pair of default tools on my arrange main page here right and that's different again to the two tools that are assigned to the left and command click toolbox in the piano roll editor local menu bar and again that's different to the tools for the sample editor and the mixer whatever all I do is allocate what I want for that particular edit window on its local menu bar and it remembers it Okay, so that's another handy little thing. So that's it. In a nutshell, that's the working protocol. You build your arrangement here, you select your audio or MIDI regions up here, and you open editors below, make your tweaks and edits using all the functions and menus on that local menu bar, which gives you everything you need for that window that you've opened. Like that, yeah, they're all unique. And then you close the edit windows again and work on your arrangement. Simple as that, okay? So look. That's how the protocol of this program works, all right? Uh, using the local menu bars above each edit window. All right. Now let's the bits that I got rid of, this main menu bar across the top, and the inspector column, and the media column on the right. Let's just have a look at those now in a little bit more depth.